Introduction Do you know what they are showing? Yes, I know they are doing weather forecasting. How do they forecast weather? They use statistics. It is the science of collection, analysis and presentation of data. Can we use it anywhere else except statistics? Yes, statistics is also used in medical studies. They first collect the respective data and then prescribe any drug. In this lesson, you will learn how to interpret and analyze the collected data. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the range of given data, find the mean deviation from the given data, find the standard deviation and variance from given data, Analyze the frequency distribution. Measures of dispersion A measure of dispersion is designed to state numerically the extent to which individual observations vary on the average. The wider the discrepancy from one observation to another, the larger would be the dispersion. The graph given below shows the dispersion in data. There are following measures of dispersion. Range, quartile deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation. Range. Range is defined as the difference between the largest and the smallest observations. It is simplest of all the measures. Let's have an example. What is the range of set A and set B? The range for set A is 44 minus 2, which is equal to 42. And the range for set B is 17 minus 17, which is equal to 0. Limitation of range. It does not tell about the discrepancy of data from a central tendency. Mean deviation. The mean deviation is the mean of the absolute deviations of a set of data about the data's mean. How to find mean deviation for ungrouped data? There are four steps to find it. Step 1. We find the mean of given data. Step 2. The deviations of the respective observations from the mean. Step 3. The absolute values of the deviations. Step 4. Then we find the required mean deviation. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Example. Find the mean deviation about the mean for the following data. Mean of the data can be found as x bar is equal to 12. After that, we find the deviations of the respective observations from the mean as xi minus x bar is equal to minus 9, minus 5, minus 4, 0, 2, 5, 11. Then, the absolute values of the xi minus x bar are 9, 5, 4, 0, 2, 5, 11. Finally, we find the mean deviation by using the formula summation from i is equal to 1 to 7 of xi minus x bar divided by 7 is 5.14. Mean deviation. How to find mean deviation for group data? The data can be grouped in two categories. Discrete frequency distribution, continuous frequency distribution. Discrete frequency distribution. If the given data occurs with random frequency, then it is called discrete frequency distribution. Mean deviation can be found by two methods. Mean deviation about mean, mean deviation about median. Mean deviation about mean. 
First, we find the mean as given below. Summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between xi fi divided by capital N, where summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between xi fi denotes the sum of the products of observations xi with their respective frequencies fi n is equal to summation from i is equal to 1 to n of frequency. Then we find the deviations of observations xi from the mean and take their absolute values for i belongs to 1, 2, till n. And then we find the required mean deviation through summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N. Let's have an example. Example Find mean deviation about the mean for the following data. Solution In the first two columns, we write the given data for better understanding. The sum of the frequency f is found to be 36. In the third column, we find the product of given xi, fi and the summation as 486. After that, we find the mean from the formula as stated below. Summation from i is equal to 1 to 6 of the product between xi, fi divided by capital N. It is found to be 13.5. In the fourth column, we find the absolute value of the difference between xi, and mean x bar. In the fifth column, we find the product between the absolute values and frequency and their sum is 180. And finally, we find the mean deviation by summation from i is equal to 1 to 6 of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N as 4.5. Mean deviation. Mean deviation about median. First, we find the median. After that, we find the mean of the absolute values of the deviations from median. And then, we find mean deviation as summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency f i and the absolute values divided by capital N, where m is the median. N is the sum of the frequencies. I belongs to 1, 2, up till N. Let's have an example. Example. Find the mean deviation from the median of the following frequency distribution. Solution. In the first two columns, we write the given data for better understanding. The sum of frequency F, I is found to be 60. Then we find the median of the given distribution that is found to be 13 years. In the third column, we find the cumulative frequency by adding the previous frequency in the current frequency. In the fourth column, we find the absolute value of the difference between xi and median and it is denoted by di. In the fifth column, we find the product between the absolute values and frequency and their sum is 67. And finally, we find the mean deviation by summation of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N as 1.12 years. Mean Deviation Continuous Frequency Distribution for calculating mean deviation of a continuous frequency distribution, find the mid-values of the classes to obtain xi and proceed further as for a discrete frequency distribution. In continuous frequency distribution, the frequency never breaks. Mean deviation can be found by two methods. Mean deviation about mean, mean deviation about median. Let's have some examples. Example, 
Find mean deviation from the mean for the following data. Solution In the first column, we have written the classes as given. In the second column, the mid values of each class are written as Xi, Xi. In the third column, we have written the frequency as given. And their sum is found to be 92. In the fourth column, we find the product of given Xi, Fi and their summation as 3870. After that, we find the mean from the formula as stated below. Summation from i is equal to 1 to 8 of the product between xi and fi divided by capital N. It is found to be 42.065. In the fifth column, we find the absolute value of the difference between xi and mean x bar. In the sixth column, we find the product between the absolute values and frequency f i and their sum is found to be 1425.22. And finally, we find the mean deviation by summation from i is equal to 1 to 8 of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N as 15.49. Mean deviation. We can calculate mean deviation about mean from a shortcut method. In this method, we introduce a new variable as di is equal to the difference between xi and a divided by h, where a is the assumed mean and h is the common factor. Now the formula for mean in this method becomes assumed mean plus Summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product f i and d i divided by n and multiplied by h. Let's have an example. Example Find mean deviation from the mean for the following data by the use of shortcut method. Solution in the first column, we have written the classes as given. In the second column, the mid values of each class are written as xi. In the third column, we have written the frequency as given. And their sum is found to be 92. In the fourth column, we find the difference between xi and a divided by h and it is denoted by di. In the fifth column, we find the product F, I and D, I and it is found to be minus 27. After that, we find the mean from the formula as stated below. Assumed mean plus summation from I is equal to 1 to N of the product F, I and D, I divided by N and multiplied by H. It is found to be 42.065. In the sixth column, we find the absolute values of the difference between xi and mean x bar. In the seventh column, we find the product of frequency f i and the absolute values and their sum is 1425.22. And finally, we find the mean deviation by summation from i is equal to 1 to 8 of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N as 15.49. Mean deviation. Mean deviation about median. First, we find the median through the formula given below. Lower limit plus difference between N upon 2 and cumulative frequency of the class just preceding the median class, divided by F, multiplied by H, where median class is the class interval whose cumulative frequency is just greater than or equal to N upon 2. N is the sum of frequencies. L is the lower limit. F is the frequency. H is the width of median class. C is the cumulative frequency of the class 
just preceding the median class. After median, the absolute values of the deviations of midpoint of each class xi from the median are calculated. Then the required mean deviation is summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency f i and the absolute values divided by capital N. Example Calculate the mean deviation from the median of the following data. Solution In the first column, we have written the wages per week as given. In the second column, the mid values of each class are written as xi. In the third column, we have written the frequency fi as given. And their sum is found to be 60. In the fourth column, we find the cumulative frequency by adding the previous frequency in the current frequency. After that, we find the median by using the formula lower limit plus difference between n upon 2 and cumulative frequency of the class just preceding the median class divided by fm multiplied by h and it is found to be 45. In the fifth column, we find the absolute values of the difference between xi and median, that is 45, and the absolute values are denoted by di. In the sixth column, we find the product of di and the frequency fi and their sum are found to be 680. And finally, we find the mean deviation by summation of the product between frequency and di divided by capital N as 11.33. Mean deviation. Mean deviation also has its limitations. The greatest drawback of this method is that algebraic signs are ignored while taking the deviations of the items. This method may not give us very accurate results because Median is not a satisfactory measure when the degree of variability in a series is very high. If we compute mean deviation from mean, that is also not desirable because the sum of the deviations from mean, ignoring signs, is greater than the sum of the deviations from medium, ignoring signs. If mean deviation is computed from mode, that is also not scientific because the value of mode cannot always be determined. Variance and Standard Deviation To overcome the limitations of mean deviation, we have introduced variance and standard deviation. Variance is the average of the square differences from the mean. The standard deviation is a measure of how spread out numbers are. The formula for variance is summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the squares of the difference between xi and the mean x bar divided by n, where n is the number of observations. And the formula for standard deviation is the square root of variance. Standard deviation of a discrete frequency distribution is square root of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between the frequency f i and the difference between the x i and mean x bar divided by capital N, where n is the sum of frequencies. Standard deviation of a continuous frequency distribution is square root of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between the frequency f i and the difference between x i and mean x bar divided by capital N. The x i is obtained as the midpoint of each class. One more formula for standard deviation. 1 divided by n is multiplied by the square root of the difference between the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency f i and square x i multiplied by capital N 
and square of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between f i and x i. One shortcut method to find variance and standard deviation is standard deviation is equal to h divided by n is multiplied by the square root of the difference between the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency f i and square yi multiplied by capital N and square root of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between f i and y i where y i is equal to difference between the x i and the assumed mean a divided by h a is assumed mean h is the common factor let's have some examples Example, calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following data. Solution, in the first column, we write all the given observations. After this, we find the mean of the observation by summing it and then dividing it by the number of observations, that is 9 in this case. In the second column, we find difference of the observations from the mean x bar. In the third column, we find the squares of the difference between the observations from the mean x bar and their sum is found to be 960. And then finally, we find the variance as summation from i is equal to 1 to 9 of the squares of the difference between the observations from the mean x bar divided by 9. It is found to be 106.67. After that, we find the standard deviation as square root of the variance and it is found to be 10 point. Calculate the variance and standard deviation for the following distribution. Solution In the first two columns, we have written the xi and fi as given. The sum of frequencies fi is 59. In the third column, we find the product of f, i and x, i and their sum is found to be 1067. After that, we find the mean by summing the product of f, i and x, i and then divide it by the sum of frequency that is 59. It is found to be 18.08. .08. In the fourth column, we find the difference between the x, i and mean x bar. In the fifth column, we find the squares of the difference between the x i and mean x bar. In the sixth column, we find the product of frequency f i and the squares of the difference between the x i and mean x bar. And their sum is found to be 2344.558. And then we find the variance by summation from i is equal to 1 to 7 of the product between frequency and the squares of the difference between x i and x bar. It is found to be 39.73. After that, we find standard deviation by squaring root of 39.73 and it is found to be 6.30. Let's see how to find the standard deviation and variance for continuous frequency distribution. Solution In the first column, we have written the classes as given. In the second column, we find the mid values for each value of the classes as xi. In the third column, we write the given frequencies and their sum is found to be 50. In the fourth column, we find the product of f, i and x, i and their sum is found to be 1900. After that, we find the mean by summing the product of f, i and x, i and then divide it by the sum of frequency that is 50. It is found to be 38. In the fifth column, we find the squares of the difference between the x, i and mean x bar. In the sixth column, we find the product of the frequency f, i and squares of the difference between the x, i and mean x bar. 
and the sum is found to be 13,050. And then we find the variance by summation from i is equal to 1 to 7 of the product between frequency and the squares of the difference between xi and x bar. It is found to be 261. After that, we find standard deviation by squaring root of 261 and it is found to be 16.155. Analysis of Frequency Distribution In this section, we introduce a new term called coefficient of variation. It is simply defined as the ratio of standard deviation of group of values to their mean. It is often multiplied by 100 to express the coefficient of variation as a percent. The graph given below will give you the idea how the frequency of the particular data is distributed. Mathematically, ratio of standard deviation to the mean multiplied by 100 to express it in percent. Comparison of two frequency distributions with the same mean. With the help of coefficient of variation, we can deduce that when two series have equal mean, then the series with greater standard deviation have more discrepancy of data. Example, it is given that standard deviation and mean of two distributions are 6.18, 17.2 and 14.18, 62 respectively. What are their coefficients of variation? Solution First, we find coefficient of variation for distribution 1 by finding the ratio of standard deviation to the mean and it is found to be 0 0.359. In percent, it is 35.9%. And then we find coefficient of variation for distribution 2 by finding the ratio of standard deviation to the mean. And it is found to be 0 0.228. In percent, it is 22.8%. Did you know? Statistics is usually considered to be a distinct mathematical science rather than a branch of mathematics. Statistics is closely related to probability theory. The earliest writing on statistics was found in a 9th century book entitled Manuscript on Deciphering Cryptographic Messages. Most observational studies use statistics. Summary Let's summarize what we have learned. Discrepancy of data is called measures of dispersion. There are following measures of dispersion. Range, quartile deviation, mean deviation, standard deviation. Range is defined as the difference between the largest and the smallest observations. Mean deviation for ungrouped data. Summation from I is equal to 1 to n of xi minus x bar divided by n. Summation from i is equal to 1 to n of xi minus median divided by n. Mean deviation for group data. Summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency and absolute values divided by capital N. Variance. Summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the squares of the difference between xi and the mean x bar divided by n. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. Square root of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between the frequency f i and the difference between the xi and mean x bar divided by capital N. 1 divided by N is multiplied by the square root of the difference between the summation from I is equal to 1 to N of the product between frequency F I and square X I multiplied by capital N and square of the summation from I is equal to 1 to N of the product between F I and X I.
h divided by n is multiplied by the square root of the difference between the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between frequency f i and square y i multiplied by capital N and square of the summation from i is equal to 1 to n of the product between f i and y i. Coefficient of variation Ratio of standard deviation to the mean multiplied by 100 to express it 